He calls it a superpower, helping small business owners position themselves for success through storytelling. Benga Ogunjimi is a Washington-based brand expert. He says it's not just about the products that you sell, but the story that you tell. And now Ogunjimi has made a documentary about how entrepreneurs can unlock the power of their business stories. I spoke to him earlier here in Washington. Benga, why do you say that the story of a business is almost as important as the success of the business itself? Well, first and foremost, businesses are people. And everyone has a story to tell. My work as a business story coach would often say, people do not buy what you sell. They buy the stories that you tell. And as entrepreneurs, we concentrate and take on the identity of what we do. Through storytelling, we are able to build a community. We are able to activate communities of customers, of clients, and investors, because at the end of the day, people listen to our stories with the filter of their own stories. So, which is important? I, I don't think it's either or. I think ultimately, storytelling is a pathway and strategy for business success. And businesses that understand this really, really try. And that is the whole idea of business storytelling. Now, Benga, you're a part of the African diaspora. You work with small businesses. What do immigrant entrepreneurs bring to the Washington DC area and its economy? When African or immigrant entrepreneurs come into Washington DC or coming into the United States of America, it is also important for them to go through a shift in perspective, to recognize that now that they're in this country, they fit into a bigger community. Uh, that designation is called minority-owned business. In making a transition to that identity, it allows them to break off this silos of just catering to an immigrant community but really participating in the local economy of the city in which they live in. I think that is a wonderful opportunity. Um, and Washington, D.C. truly provides that platform. In Washington, D.C., we have the Office of the Mayor of African Affairs. We have several immigrant community centers. We also have several business support agencies dedicated to supporting minority and immigrant entrepreneurs. So I think it's a wonderful opportunity. And those entrepreneurs from overseas continue to make immense contribution to the economy of Washington, D.C. and America as a whole. So you've created the small business documentary, which is now featured on Amazon Prime's video platform. Tell us a little more about that. Yeah, I recently produced Good to Great Stories, a small business documentary. And that documentary tells the story of seven entrepreneurs um, in the historic Washington, D.C. Uh, historic community called Anacostia. We could have a shift in our community if we had better options in our community. I was working in retail, but I wasn't connected to what I was seeing around me. Position yourself so that when the door opens, you'll be able to walk through that door. These entrepreneurs are changing the narrative of that community from one of struggle and scarcity to opportunity and growth. And I thought it was important to create a platform to tell that story. And also, if you look into what is going on in the country around the world with the pandemic, a lot of businesses are going through crisis and pivoting and loss of job. And there's a lot of stories of negativity, of pain, of loss, of scarcity. I thought it's important to pivot and change that narrative. And this particular documentary allows, provided me the opportunity to do so. So I'm very excited. All the entrepreneurs are black and brown. Um, all the entrepreneurs are minority and immigrant. And if they can tell a story, so is everyone else. I think that's the magic of this documentary. Benga Ogunjimi, brand expert and the man behind Good to Great Stories. Thank you so much for speaking to us.